It was the fourth and final Edinburgh Derby of the season and Hearts done enough just to get fourth place. Welcome back guys, Son of Scotland TV here for the match review. But in all honesty, I'm not going to speak too much about it. We got fourth place. It wasn't convincing. It wasn't the prettiest. Basically, 10 men behind the ball, or behind the ball even, not the wall. I mean, maybe we could have put a wall up. I don't think Hibernian were going to score today. But either way, 10 men sitting back, trying to see out a 1-1 one -one draw, essentially, from, like, what, the 20-odd minutes. So, uh, again, another match where we go down to 10 men. That's happened way too often lately, man. We've been going, I think, three times in the split. We've been down to 10 men. I mean, what what is that? And we've been losing. It's been in the first half as well. It's not like we've been losing men late. I mean, it's, like, it's another red card to Cochrane here early in the game. I know he got sent off against Celtic. He's been sent off again. And it's in a match we can't really afford to get sent off in. Go down to 10 men in, in a game that you need to get a result in to avoid being overtaken on the last day. But anyway, we, we took the lead. Oda got his first goal. Finally, Oda scores. And you know what? I wasn't too impressed with Oda when he, he first joined the club and he was getting game time. I thought, you know what, why couldn't we have got somebody good for Japan? But I think he's improved. He's grown on me. I think he, he definitely offers more than I thought he would. And I think he's going to be a good addition to the team. And hopefully him and uh, Shankland can continue next season to create a partnership. That's, of course, if Shankland is there. I'm hoping Ginelli's there next season as well. We know his contract runs out. We need to get him signed up. But yeah, Oda with the goal. Good stuff. Then Cochrane got sent off. Nisbet scored for the free kick. And at this point, you're thinking, God damn it, are we really going to be able to hold on? And we did hold on. And in all fairness, guys, it wasn't a really great game. We literally sat back. Hibs huffed and puffed, but they didn't really create that many good opportunities. Sander Clark made a few good saves. There was one where he, he tipped the ball onto the post late on. I thought that was going to go in. Referee added 10 minutes extra time. Not too sure why. McCurdy, Hibs had a really good chance towards the end. The ball broke to McCurdy. He chested it down. and I think he, was it, it might have been Nisbet he had on the right-hand side of him. And this was a great opportunity. Really, when you look at this, the Hibs should have scored here. Should have been 2-1. But McCurdy chested it like outside the box and cracked it on the folly. And it's like, someone in McCurdy's level is just not going to score a goal like this. Why the fuck he tried this, I do not know. It was a great chance for him to make it 2-1, but he tried to go for a spectacular goal. He tried to steal all the glory, and all he did was probably hit some poor cunt in the face, sitting up in the top stand. So, yeah, really, really poor for McCurdy. This guy's not a professional footballer. Just look at the stadium and his fucking pink hair, man. I mean, this guy wouldn't even cut it in the Women's Football League, never mind the Hibernian men's team. So, you've got to wonder why he's in there. We've seen Lee Johnson get booked and then there was a big scuffle at the end, a big fight broke out and I'm not blaming Lee Johnson for that because I didn't see what happened but I think Lee Johnson does suffer from like small man syndrome. Anytime you see him he's, he's walking about like a wee dwarf, he's always getting booked, he's always like shouting at people and getting into confrontations. I'm, I'm surprised him and Robbie Nielsen to be honest never never, never actually came to blows. Like I guess when Nielsen was there the rivalry was, wasn't really competitive so Maybe, maybe that's why that never happened, but yeah, I mean, Lee Johnson, he's always getting in trouble, and then towards the end, there was like a 50-man brawl, and Lee Johnson was involved, so, I don't know, again, I'm not saying he's to blame, but he always seems to be causing trouble, or, and just shouting at people, so I think, I definitely think there's some sort of small man syndrome, and he, he is tiny compared to everyone else as well, but look, we won, wasn't convincing, doesn't say much about him, so the fact that they had this man advantage in a game that needed they needed to win for like 70 minutes, probably more than 70 minutes when you add up or the extra time, probably closer to like 80, 85 minutes and they couldn't get a goal. So yeah, not good for them. And then we had there were a couple of Hearts fans pushing Yohan before the final whistle as well. Looked like maybe a punch was thrown. Stewart's came over, tried to, I don't know, don't know if they tried to throw him out or whatever, but you think he, he like, yeah, it was like that Homer Simpson meme where he just kind of slowly, you know, goes back into the, the hedges. So that happened. Uh, then towards the end, uh, after the match or before the end of the match, you've got the Hearts fans chatting, Hibs are falling apart again. It's like, calm down, fucking hell, you know what I mean? Like, we've finished fourth. We, we threw away an 11 point lead to Aberdeen. We should have had third place wrapped up and we've thrown that away. We've, we've held on by the skin of our teeth, sitting back, 10 men behind the ball, final game of the season, holding on to a 1 1 draw against Hibs to try and keep fourth place. And we're chanting that Hibs are falling apart. I mean, let's fucking calm down, right? Obviously, it's good to get this draw and to stay ahead of them, but it's not like we've had a great season. We've went backwards. You look at where we were last year, we have regressed massively. So I, I would calm down on the let's make making fun of Hibs because we're not exactly. An 
in a great place ourselves right now. So, yeah, that's what it is. That's my thoughts. Uh, I was see, see when I heard the hips are falling apart again. I was like, what the fuck is this? Seriously, I mean, we we've literally for the entire second half of the season we fell apart, and that's why, like I said. We're five points or whatever behind Double Dean, so yeah, three points even, whatever. Too many points, right? Shouldn't he be behind them, should be in front of them. But that's it. We'll catch you in the next one, guys. Disappointed with fourth. But we'll have to qualify now the hard way through the Conference League. I mean, I guess you could argue we'll come in at an earlier round. So we, we might get easier teams and we might get more games before the, the, the harder ties happen. So, I don't know, we, we might like play ourselves into some good football, I guess, rather than just being thrown into a playoff against a, a pretty decent team. We should actually come up against teams that we are seeded higher than. So who knows? It might mean more winnable games. We'll see what happens. Season review coming soon, and I'll react to predictions and all that shit. And of course, big transfer ahead. We need to get Josh Ginelli signed up, and we need to make sure that Shankland doesn't go anywhere. Let's just handcuff him and maybe put him in the, the toilet or something like that. But he's a Rangers fan, so he might start drinking. Uh, he might start drinking tap water. Don't want to be doing that. Toilet water. Toilet water. Tap water. Toilet water. Anyway, guys, that's it. Till next. I see this. He's not a Rangers fan. He's a Hearts fan, but he'll probably go to Rangers. Fuck it. Till next time. I think he supports them both. Actually, I've seen him wearing both shirts, which is pretty sad. But then again, someone did point out that I had a Rangers cake when I was younger. So what's that all about? Till next time, though. Lauren Shankland and me, we're, we're the same. Only he's great at football. I'm pish. I'm probably better at FIFA than Shanklin though. Right, that's it, I'm leaving this time. Peace.